Okay, so this is just a really quick video to, uh, there's been some confusion, I think, on, on what I mean by table of contents um, and the embedded table of contents. When I contacted Sony about this, they also uh, took a while to figure out exactly uh, what I was talking about. So I want to show you here on just a regular PDF file. So this is in the Mac preview program. When I scroll down through this book and when I go to the table of contents, you can see that nothing here is hyperlinked. So I can click on this stuff and nothing is going on. All right. But what I can do if I go to view and I go to table of contents, you can see that there's an embedded table of contents here on the side. So I can go to chapter one and I can click on it and it takes me to chapter one, chapter four. I can spin this out if they decide to put subsections in there and go to those subsections, etc. And I can navigate like that. That is an embedded table of contents. There's no hyperlinks to those. That's just something that's part of the PDF format. So this exact same document, when I take it with my sneak preview there, when I take it with my Kobo reader, and you know, you can see now why I like the, the Sony, because this thing's kind of small. Again, there's no, there's no hyperlinks here. I can't click on anything. But what I can do is when I open up my options, Let's go in here. I have this table of contents button, and when I click it, lo and behold, it opens up that same table of contents. Now, it's not as collapsed as well, um, but I can tap on these things and still navigate quickly. All right? So there's no hyperlinked table of contents like that one textbook that I showed earlier, but it, this can access the embedded table of contents. The problem with the the DPT RP1 as it is, is there's no way to access that. This little menu up here, which you think would access that, only brings up the previous PDFs that you've read, which is good for flipping around, especially since they got rid of the tab option um, from the S1. But that's what Sony support has said that they're going to be adding in a firmware, is the ability to get at those embedded files. So just a little clarification and a little hope from Sony that that actually will be coming um, and that's one of the, to me, one of the major shortcomings. And once they, uh, once they solve that problem and get those embedded table of contents back, then I think this, this is going to be um, unstoppable. All right, thanks, guys.